welcome to another ride along with goggles and uh we're in uh, pemberton british columbia and we're going up to braylor and so i don't know if you remember a while back we had a trip where we came down the uh mountain down to pemberton and uh i was pointing out all the you know the very spots were real trouble with the with a long trailer and i don't think we i can't remember what we had on it i don't think it wasn't a triple low boy that's for sure it might have been um somebody else's low boy I, I just don't remember but anyway so we've got um the ironworks w900 here in a six by six configuration and we're going to need it i think although i uh, kind of disappointed in the loader i used trucky and i uh, you know the heavy volvo loader doesn't look that heavy but let's spark it up and see what it weighs here oh it's only 57,000 pounds my word Oh, well, it's probably going to be a good thing so we can get up there. But um, looks like we got to kind of oh, get out of the truck, <laughs> snake our way out of here. Once again, it didn't tur turn me around, so I don't know what's going on there. Why it doesn't turn the long trailer around? Get our lights on here, beacons, and uh, let's roll. So I just... I've been working, man, well, crazy, 10 hours at least today to do 10 flat deck mud flaps for my mud flap mod and six low boys. So we got the low boy mud flaps on the trailer, all over the place on the trailer. <laughs> and uh, I thought, geez, well, what? which one do I want to drive today? <laughs> and I thought, well, I haven't done an Alberta heavy haul thing in a while. We got, uh, we're going to be losing our pro mods when the update comes to 148 for a little while. Well, and so I better get with it and do a, a trip with the, uh, in, in uh, pro mods Canada. So I put a quick skin on the Ironworks W900. So this is just one and done. Like I just, slapped the thing on it it was uh i used my uh, ruta w900 as a donor skin and then i just rescaled it to this Turn left. Um, truck uh, template and threw it on here so there's little misalignments all over the place but it doesn't really show from a, a distance but it's i think it's probably something i'm going to want to do is put this skin on this truck Oh, let's clear that curb back there. Wow. Looks like we knew what we we're doing. Dang. Ooh, I don't have a GPS. I thought I had a GPS up in the corner, and that's the uh, cell phone. <laughs> oh, boy. I think she said turn left, because I should know my way out of here and up to the, up the mountain by now. I think we have to turn left here to uh, get up the mountain. Turn left. Yeah, thanks, Lori. Looks like we're gonna clear this curb too. Man. to get interesting here folks <laughs> we gotta turn right up ahead here we're gonna take that other lane just hope nobody sneaks up the inside here there's somebody back there not to knock over the stop sign and get around the corner. Wow, we're dragging it right through the ditch. Oh, I wasn't bad. Okay. Well, I hope everybody has been well. Um, we had a good do on Sunday for the... Uh, the car club 
I kept saying it was the 45th anniversary, it's the 40th, but nonetheless, it was a good time for sure. Very hot. And I did, I'm glad I made the uh, Monday video on Saturday night. So I didn't have to do one when I got home from that that event. I was kind of back from the heat, and uh, but uh, yeah, it was great. Almost drag the thing off the road on the left back there. See if we can't get around this corner here. Oh yeah. That was uh so I think we got one more real intense corner coming up here. I'm gonna go left here. It's going to be a left-hand hairpin, but I want to come around here in a way that I can get off to the right real soon here without getting her stuck right there. So now we got to drag it through that little pile of gravel there, get way out to the right here. Try and leave these signs standing. Come on, baby. Now, I've been stopped on this hill before up ahead, so got to make sure. What I like to do, as I've mentioned before, is get any gear where I got a split that I can just pull back on if I need it. So we're going to get that right here. So now my splitter's ahead. If I get in a bind, I should be able to just pull it back. Uh, won't have to move the stick. I think that's coming up that stretch. Gets steep, so we got to get on the throttle here. If you're hard on equipment driving it like this. <laughs> In real life, you'd be going a little slower and trusting on your traction. Oh! Bambi and company. Get steeper up here. Get on a little bit here. You wouldn't want to have that bump steer stuff set to you high right now. I got mine turned down and the wheel's jumping all over the place. There's a split. We'll use that right now. Okay. I'm pretty sure we can take it a little easier now. I have to pound on it so hard. And She's taking the scenery. Oh man, look at that, eh? I'm going to uh, do that uh, pause camera thingy. Oh well. Guess what I could do is just slow way down. Whoops, jeez, I almost drove off the road there. Just slow way down where we're not going to get in too much trouble. Right, look at that. Make that our photo, I guess.
So yeah, the uh, 10 flat decks I believe I got, and uh, it's pretty good. Like the mod seems to, it's getting big though. So I'm trying to figure out how big I can make it before people get upset that it's, I think right now it's around, oh, I don't know, 60, maybe, yeah, around 60 megabits maybe. There's a heck of a lot of templates, like for a <coughs> low boy, you've got 10, or sorry, uh, whoops, 6 templates, and uh, yeah, that's, uh oh, don't have that camera set up in here either, darn it. So, uh, yeah, there's 6 templates, so... For this trailer there's five for each of the low boys but once you get going like uh, i found that uh, you know once you've got um i think the uh, most like if you've got all your low boy templates together it's a simple matter to um you know you get get them all laid out and then all you got to do is uh make a new layer in your PDN for the uh, one you just did and then you can um, you know make that new layer put your new stuff in there line it all up delete the old one and uh, uh, rename it and do that <laughs> six times <laughs> and uh, yeah move on so we got uh, one more tricky bit coming up here. Doesn't end in a hurry. We got a sharp left hairpin and a hill. So what I want to do is get down here. See what I can do for speed here. What kind of speed I can carry here, I forget. Get the trailer back over here. Get a bit of speed here. Right hand with the hill here. Oh, oh baby. Oh, here's a little hill up ahead. I was thinking of. So we got. I still don't think we have enough traction without speed here. Just enough grip. Ah, okay. There's that logging site on. Uh, I, I kind of thinking that last time we went the opposite direction, we picked up here at this logging site. We delivered here a few times. So, Oklahoma's right around the corner. I guess it won't be long after that. Like, we're going to get Kansas probably too this year. And 148 in the California rework. Man. This year's going to go out with a bang. Don't know how long it's going to take them to get all that stuff going. So we're going to Braylorn, so we're going to turn right here, I guess. Oh, she's not saying anything. Better look at the map. Uh, yeah, we stay right. Yeah, we're going here to the... Well, I've got it as BHP, but I think it's going to be coastline mining. In fact, I'm, I know it is because it says it. Oh, it says BHP on here. <laughs> I thought it was going to show the actual name. I think I remember that from... Uh, I set the job up with Truckee.
I love this truck. And speaking of W900s, uh, that skin from the other day, I think, uh, what the heck was it now? We did the uh, Outlaw W900, and I stuck a skin on there that's going to be ready to go uh, without a lot of effort. This one shouldn't take too much, although I have a... Uh, Oh, my uh, telemetry stopped on my dash here. Oh, well, I still got this over here. I think it's going, yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, this one and the one for the outlaw. What in the heck did we have on there? I forget now. Jeez. What a memory. But, uh, yeah, I, I really like this truck. And I still got to do that build and drive if you guys are still interested, I'll try and find time to do that. Because boy, has they ever got a lot of options. Still some things that are a bummer to paint, but uh, maybe that will get sorted someday. I wonder if we're going to run into some deer again, or did I uh, miss them blabbing away? They might have been on the other fork there. I said the scenery here. It is Look how good that water looks in the in the, the stones in the water, the rock. It's freaking marvelous. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, they do such a good job. I just can't imagine how cool it's going to be if they go across the Rockies because they don't have any of the Rocky Mountains in this. This is all the, um, oh, what the heck are they called? The, is it Cascades or Columbia? Columbia Mountains for sure. And the, uh, what was the other one? The Coastal? I can't remember. There's about four different mountain ranges in BC. Coastal, Columbia another one and the Rockies which are go along the BC Alberta border I think we get the better shot of the Rockies but they got a lot of other ones <laughs> in Alberta we got a, some pretty nice pretty nice mountains and so if they uh, get the Trans Canada going through Banff uh, that's gonna be pretty nice and maybe they'll get uh, number three and the southern route along the south of the province, just north of the U.S. border. Well, there's our destination. We made it. Yeah, just look at that water. It looks so good. Well, that was a rough ride. I'm gonna. Uh, we didn't do any damage to the truck, though. Truck or trailer, yeah, they're in fine shape. Let this guy get out of here. We gotta go in here. Oh, his buddy in the Yukon almost, or is that an Escalade? Almost rear ended him there. Quite the climb up that hill where those cars are going. If you're pulling out of here, if you're worried about it, you can. I think you can just take the route we just took and go around the long way. Look at this. It's all steam engine. Historic train, <laughs> I'll say. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Now, I don't have a GPS to see where our parking spot is. So, and we don't go on the trigger, we just we gotta find our spot. It's gonna be marked on the ground somewhere because we use tracky. Am I missing them back there? No, I don't think so. Well, this is weird because. You have reached your destination. I guess we do have to drive on the trigger. You don't normally. 
Hmm. Weird. Yeah, where should I place it? Yeah, right up around there. But, uh, this truck is such a beast. <laughs> See, I've got to fix the front there. I've got to cross the hood. Got a little teeny misalignment at the back of the cab, up at the top, and at the bottom. The other side, the bottom of the cab is fine, but the top has got a bigger misalignment, so the <laughs> the back is not in the same scale as the uh, sides of the truck. <laughs> And this, this truck has an open depth that you can do the uh, truck mud flaps in. So I've still got Hell Creek Heavy Haul available and I've got uh, added the Alberta Heavy Haul to it. And of course, oh, we'll, we'll look when we get this load off here. I better get the trailer over here. Think about what I'm doing. to get that on there. Well, we'll see how we do here. Oh yeah, we got it. Just have to go forward far enough. <laughs> okay, a little more. There we go. Yeah, it's uh, quite a beast, this thing. Got the the, the old uh, Detroit green on it, but it's, you know, it's a DD-60, so they were, I think any one I ever delivered was silver. But uh, anyway, pretty cool. Nice. Alright, that's, uh, oh, that one brake didn't go. Come on. Oh, the telemetry's down. That's why I'm not seeing it on the dash here. Okay. Just... If it didn't actually go on, I, well, I guess I could have looked from the inside. Um, there we are. Let's see what we did here. That wasn't a big payer, but it wasn't far. 4,000. But it was slow, so... <laughs> anyway... That was a thing. Yeah, so... Oh, and I noticed with this truck, Sissel's, uh, maybe, I don't know if I'm missing a... Uh, so if we're on the inside, I've got that Sissel stuff, but it's like the European Sissel thing. Um, I should... Oh, yeah, that's what I could do. Because I, I have an Alberta Heavy Haul air freshener I made, and I put my Sissel customization in. But I bet you if I put the the ETS Sissel customization thing in here and did my mod in there, because I don't recognize any of the things. So, yeah, it didn't show up, but uh, we'll sort it out. So, oh, yeah, that's the other thing we wanted to do. Yeah, once again, we'll just take another, in case you haven't seen them. <laughs> if you have, oh, well. <laughs> Uh, now once again, and look at the detail under this truck. It's awesome. Got the splines on the slip, the slip uh, coupling there, slip yoke. That's the first time I've seen that. But anyway, we've we've looked at it before. So in the mud flaps, these have got the the sort of brownish dirt on the inside. The um, I, this and the flat decks have this. The other trailers, when I get to them, are going to have different. Not not as dirty. There'll be uh, not as much of it. And it'll be a, sort of a lighter gray. Uh, kind of a little more like what happens on the road. And uh, so there's the uh, mud flaps. Heavy haul, oil field, fast freight. And then gives the cities and phone number. And I put the same one on the truck. But the one on the truck, it needs to be dropped down some. And let's see what the back ones are like here. Do they have to... Yeah, they're too... They've got to be compressed. They're too... Too much going on there. 
Maybe I'll take out the cities. I don't know. Yeah, I could take the cities out of there. And that would uh, clear them up a bit. But anyway, yeah, it's been kind of... It's, it's interesting. Uh, oh, the other thing is the front... Um, uh, the mud flaps on the back of the Jeep. Those ones right there. They don't work if you've got the... Uh, uh, under cables mod on so the uh, SCS truck and trailer under cables mod will not if you have it in place you can't put those mud flaps won't show up as an option everything else will which is kind of unfortunate but anyway you know it's nice to be able to touch up the old uh, SCS trailer and uh, I want to you know shout out to Larry uh, for uh, Larry A for uh, you know he led the, he led the way um, by doing mud flaps and putting a mod out there and you know it was kind of inspirational for me uh, doing it so and once again I'll I'll get a tutorial out there as soon as I get this thing done I don't know how many more I'm gonna do like am I gonna do I don't know like every single trailer I don't know I really don't. But I know that if I do every single trailer, it's not going to be 10 skins per trailer by a long shot. Like, you know, there will only be a couple. And, you know, maybe some of them are only going to get one, like logging or whatever. I'm not sure. But the uh, cattle hauler, i got to check that out and see what I can do with it. Because I might end up putting four ranch skins on that. So the cattle pot could, could have Powder River, Lost Arroyo, Hell Creek and um what was the other one there's oh yeah um k and d cattle company so yeah could have four mud flaps for the uh for the cow wagon anyway i won't keep you guys any longer boring you to death i'm sure <laughs> so you guys take care and uh, thanks for following along we'll catch you on the next one take care and bye for now Bye.